What's up, guys? We just got back from an incredible trip in Boston. Shout out to the Harp and Hurricanes for hosting us while we did the podcast and some watch parties. Got to meet some of your fans. We're hitting you right now with a bonus episode of the podcast. We got to sit down with Cutter Gauthier, unbelievable player and stud for the BC Eagles. Fifth overall pick last year, the Philadelphia Flyers. Unreal time with this guy. He's such an awesome kid. Can't wait for you to hear it. Enjoy the interview. All right, guys, we are psyched to welcome to the podcast Hockey East All Rookie Team member, leading goal scorer his freshman year at, as a BC Eagle, and fifth overall pick to the Philadelphia Flyers, Cutter Gauthier. Welcome to the Empty Nerds podcast. Yeah, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Dude, we're psyched. We're here in Boston. Guy lives down the road, joins us at the Harp. It's beautiful. Came right from practice. That's how you know he's a Yeah, that one. is true. This guy is texting us like, I'm coming late. Sorry, I was on the ice. That's a beautiful thing. And hey, hey Flyers fans, be happy about that. He's putting in the <laughs> That's work. True. He's not skipping practice for a podcast. I was going to say, it's the spring and this guy's putting in shifts. It's unbelievable stuff. Yeah, we had a tough three on three today, so we came away <laughs> with the win, but that's all that matters. There you go. That's yeah, beautiful. Do you have any pretty ones today? pretty ones. It was actually against these two guys in the crowd, so it was, it was uh, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> it was a pretty fun. Yeah, <laughs> love to hear. We're that. Have to fact check that with them after. Uh, let's get into BC. Okay, so first thing we wanted to ask you because we we, read, we saw you did that. Um, you did a cool interview with the BC Interrupter right before the yeah, playoffs. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. so everyone's asking you why BC, yeah. and you know, you were like, keep you said that it was a uh, high, highest ranked school when you were looking, yeah. and obviously they have a great culture here. BC hockey is amazing. Jerry York at the time, winning yeah, his coach yeah, yeah. ever. So the first thing I wanted to ask was. When you said you're the highest ranked school, did you mean hockey or did you mean education? Because if you said education, I'm going to call bullshit. So I want to no, know what I you meant. Hockey, hockey. <laughs> okay, okay. okay, okay. When I got admitted here, it was, I think it was August in 2020. And at that time, it was Matt Boldy and Newhook and Spencer Knight here. Yeah. Yep. And they were just running over teams. They were number one all year. I was like, yeah, like sign me up. Like, let's go. Yeah. And then so that's, that's why I committed here. Plus, I mean, have you seen the school? Oh, yeah, the campus it's is insane, real, and like it's a good mix, like the campus. Whereas like BU, I feel like it's kind of mixed in with the city too much, and that's kind of why I preferred BC over BU. But I mean, you can't go wrong with Boston. Like it's it's, it's true, awesome city. It's, it's a good hockey town. Yeah. So I'm mean, dude, you had a great answer in that interview talking about why you chose BC. Yeah. What were some of the other schools that were kind of on your radar that you were considering, and was it close at the end, or was when you kind of came down to the decision where you're like, no, I'm going to BC, no question. I mean, I had like a top seven, I would say, and then I just dropped right to like a top two. It was either between Minnesota Duluth and uh, BC. And I mean, I've seen BC before. I checked it out a little bit and I had no idea what was like up in Minnesota Duluth, anything like that. So I legit jumped on the flight and went out there, checked it out. And I mean, I didn't go there because it was in like the middle of nowhere. <laughs> there's, there's not much going on. I was looking around. I just saw a bunch of woods and a big lake. So I was like, no way. I'm not coming out here. What time of year did you go to? Oh, I think I went like right after the winter time. So it was yeah. still like a little wet out and like just gross. I'm like, yeah, this is like, there's no way I'm spending Makes nine such months a big a difference, dude. Here. I swear when the kids yeah. visit the Boston schools, if they come in summer, oh. I'm like, you're coming here. If you come in January, no they're like, why the fuck? So true, dude. Come here. Yeah. I would never, <laughs> ever let someone come on a recruiting visit in yeah. the winter. I'd be like, nope, uh, it's, yeah, yeah. Uh, just, just a just, scheduled uh, conflict. Hit me in May. We're a little busy right now. Was it always called? College hockey for you though, like you were definitely doing college yeah. instead of any of the other paths. Yes, yeah, so my dad played for the Kingston Frontenacs or yeah. Kingston Raiders at that time. It was that long ago. Yeah. So he, he dude, was just all, sewering his dad's age yeah. like that. I love. He was, he was against. <laughs> he was against the OHL since I was a little kid. So he's always preached like hockey because of his experience yeah, or, or yeah, his experience. Yeah. I mean, like after, after hockey, you got a life too, and like if you get that degree, I mean, it sets you up for yeah. life too. Yeah. So. Um, that was one of the bigger reasons why I chose college hockey. And I mean, for the past few years, like it's been growing like so much. Yeah. I mean, it's, have fun with the guys. You got college right there too. It's something to fall back on, especially like injury or anything like that too. Like God forbid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, like BC is like a no brainer. It's, yeah. You're like, awesome. dad, I'll go to school for two years and I won't graduate either. It'll be perfect. <laughs> it sounds <laughs> like. On my courses. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> it sounds like when you made the decision, academics were a factor for you. Like you picked BC yeah. for a number of reasons, but the fact that they've got a great program here sets yeah. you up well. Has that always been something that's important to you? And was that something that your parents kind of preached or what, what happened there? Uh, I would say yes. No, I mean, obviously, like, I don't really like going to school, but, like, I'll go to school to, like, yeah. get the good grades and all that stuff. So I wouldn't say, it, like, really impacted me of, like, like, oh, I have to go to school. It was more of, like, I kind of get to go to school and kind of play hockey. So, I mean, it's college hockey. Like, you're a student athlete, so it's not – I wish it was athletes. Yeah. Right? yeah. Most of the time, but <laughs> you're student athlete, So it's – I mean, there's some stuff to complain about, but there's not – 
it's not really that big of a deal. Get yeah, your yeah. shit done, and then you know, focus on what matters is the games on the weekend. So yeah, that's 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 what we got going on right now. So obviously, this season you guys didn't finish out how you really wanted yeah, to. You guys went, I think, sixteen. 14 and 6 or something like that, other way around. But you had a monster year. 16 goals, 21 assists, unbelievable stuff, dude. You led the team in points as a freshman. That's remarkable. We've been a part of teams that, you know, have a losing season or you don't finish really where you want to be. It's frustrating as hell. But we kind of want to hear about what were some of the highlights of this year. It's your first year in college hockey. Yeah. You had a number of unbelievable things. You got to play in the bean pot. You had some huge wins there. Obviously, you got to play at Fenway this year. Like, what were things that stood out to you that were just like surreal moments of college hockey? I think I lucked out, honestly, because my first year was uh, frozen Fenway, too. Dude, Going back yeah. from the whole like World Junior experience like that at such a high, and then jumping right into the frozen Fenway like that was crazy. We, we got our new jerseys too. Came out and I think it was like the second second shift too. I scored and Dude, I was like, yeah, oh my god, this is awesome. Like it's the immediate baseball. I was gonna yeah. say you hit the baseball over, selling, yeah, which yeah, was yeah, fire. It was Dude. awesome. It was so fun. Like I, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it was it was it was a fun time coming right from World Juniors. I mean, obviously losing that tough one and then jumping right into the Frozen Fenway game, like it was so sick. That was that was probably all time high. And then another one was probably the bean pot. Bean pot. Like, dude, you had some experience. sick moments at the bean pot. Yeah, that first, was wild. Yeah, first experience at the bean pot against you know Harvard, tying it with like a minute to left, and then losing overtime. Like, oh God, it was such a heartbreaker. But Brutal. Like, in front of all those fans, it was so crazy. Like, yeah. it was the first time too. It was it was awesome. You got the consolation game too, though. We did get the that consolation was huge, game. and it was very one was against BU too. That's that's what we care about. Yeah, yeah. That was that was awesome. And another highlight too was like first time we played BU, like a nine six game. It was, it I was remember. crazy. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah. And that was right before we left for World Junior, so it was so cool to end off like a high note right before jumping into the World Jays. It was it was it was awesome. Dude, Being, I was gonna time, say, yeah. um, because that was like Jerry York night too. Yeah, yeah. And, it dude, was a I've huge had night. Seasons in my career where it's like we have a great season. You know, we yeah. lose five games all year, but the five we lose are like our the arch rival, ones. you know, the like a like big night, a senior night or whatever. And I was looking at your guys' schedule and it's like you kind of ticked off. You hit senior night, you beat yeah. UConn, you yeah. won at Fenway, yeah. you beat BU in the bean pot, you pumped BU and Jerry York. And I was like, you know oh, what, yeah. dude? If we, go yeah, we hit almost wins. every single one of those yeah. games, but kind of struggle on a few of the other ones. But yeah. I mean, it was a learning experience for sure your freshman year. Um, but we're gonna have a pretty good squad next year, and that's one of the big reasons why I came back is to win. So, dude, I was gonna say yeah. it's a perfect transition. You obviously have this monster year. You're a super high draft pick. You're playing unbelievable. Walk us through all those decisions that led to you coming back because you announced it about a month ago, and I think yeah. there were a ton of people who were wondering what you were gonna do. Both BC fans, Flyers fans, people who are fans of the U.S. program. Yeah. It was definitely a shock to some people. So, what kind of went into that thought process and decision making? Yeah, I think the biggest thing was like. I, I haven't won shit here. Like I won't want anything. And like, I like as a freshman, like, you, like most freshmen, like they're like, oh, I got four more years. But like, I I didn't want to lose, like, leave school on like a sour taste, like not winning anything, whether it's bean pot hockey, ter- hockey's like natty, any of that. So I mean, after I heard like the squad we had coming in next year, like playing with those guys at the program, because we got six of those guys coming in next year. I was super you have a pumped. stacked class have, coming yeah, in, dude. A, we have a really good class coming in, and we got some good recruits coming in. So I was super pumped to turn things around this upcoming year and like win some games, because like my like to end off on like you know maybe a national championship or at least being part something big and then turning pro i think that'd be like a dream come true like especially getting to watch like what you were saying earlier when you picked bc yeah you watch the program have so much success yeah. with some of these guys before you and then I coming get, here yeah. and then not getting any of it was like oh, okay i can't leave now like that was one of the biggest reasons and i mean it never hurts another year of you know college eligibility like the good times with the guys yeah i did that back like i've heard stories like when you go pro like it's not it's, it's not the same as college obviously of course um and like guys are married and they have all like these relationships and all that stuff and it's like not the same as like you're with your boys 24 7 yeah you, you know leave the rink you go with chipotle whatever it may be and, like, <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll go buzz asking, a couple asking hours to get the homework done uh, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, exactly. boy, someone's got yeah. these answers yeah, yeah. Um, um, but yeah no you make such a good point man it's 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 not like you're playing up in some bumfuck town and it's like brutal junior hockey it's like yeah. no you're in boston you're playing college exactly. hockey with all your buddies doing fun college stuff it's not a bad place to come back yeah, to so i get there's it no need to like rush out of it extra year eligibility or an extra, extra year of just you know hanging out with the guys yeah um you know, no doubt dominating college hockey and then just turning pro like sounds pretty dude i thought I actually love that answer because I thought you were going to say, and not that 
you're saying or you think your game is yeah. perfectly pro ready right now. Yeah. But I thought you were going to be like, you know, there's just a few pieces of my game I want to work on before I make the jump. Yeah. And I was hoping you were going to say something like, dude, I got unfinished business in college hockey. And I, <laughs> yeah. I love that that's kind of how you're feeling where you're like, dude, yeah. I'm going to try to win some shit while I'm I here want, with the yeah. boys. You know, yeah, that's we, awesome. We got a few things to win before I leave here. So. Yeah, fucking Hell right. Yeah. So I love that's that. That's why I'm coming back. At the yeah, end of the day, was it really not that hard of a decision? I mean, it definitely took – it was – it was on the back of my mind. I would say the second, kind of the second half of the season, creeping up to that day when I made that decision. I was definitely thinking about it a lot. But I mean, at the end of the day, like talking to my parents, talking to my advisors, it was it was just best for me. I felt like there's it was a no brainer after I put all the pieces together, pros and cons of going pro, and pros and cons of coming back another year. There was no need to rush it. So I mean, yeah, especially like. Kind of what we were talking about, unfinished business. Yeah, like, yeah. It's giving me goosebumps right now. I want the season. I, me too. To start yeah, I was gonna say I'm fired up now too. This is amazing. I want, I want the season and to start already. I'm no doubtly gonna be dialed into BC even more yeah. now next year because this is electric and stuff. What a sick perk to get familiarity with that incoming class at the yeah. at the program. Yeah, that was huge. that's a really cool thing. Where before you'd hear about it, right? You know, back in the day, you just yeah. didn't get to do that. You weren't getting ice time with some of those guys coming. You just hear like, yeah, we got some good freshmen coming up. Yeah, but yeah. being able to play with them, skate with them, and get excited. I get the how that levels it up big time where you yeah. kind of know what you're getting into. We had a couple of the guys with us for most of the year, my 18 year at the program. I think it was it was Will Smith and Ryan Leonard who were with us. Those two studs that yeah. are going pretty <laughs> high in this bad, coming eh? draft. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, um, gonna, their so, names are going to get called pretty soon. Yeah, they were with us for most of my 18 years, so I already know all those guys, and I was just kind of shooting the shit with them for a while now, like texting them. They're asking me all these questions about college and like what to expect and all that stuff with like the combine coming up and all the draft. Um, so I'm just kind of giving them a couple uh, things here and there to help them yeah. out, make them feel a little bit more comfortable. But they're they're looking forward to it too. So they got a big tournament right now. They're at yeah. World U18. Yeah, so they're excited for that. Hopefully they can come away. You got um, a silver medal, medal there, dude. Do you give them any uh, advice yeah. on that one? I mean, I was I was back home not too long ago for Easter break. Yeah, I, I saw all those guys. I went back to USA. You know, saw some of the guys, and I was just saying like, hey, dude, like. Come on, we got to win gold. Yeah, seriously, yeah. you can't come away with another silver again. Like, there's no way. But yeah, they're they're ready to go. They're excited for it. So Love that for those guys. This guy is a transition king because you just mentioned the combine and the draft, and that's something <laughs> I want to talk about. Right. So we had Bobby Ryan on the pod a few months okay, ago. Yeah. Good friend, great great guy. He he told an amazing draft story because he was in Crosby's draft class, and we were talking about. It's kind of funny when you've got a guy who's so highly touted going in your draft. Yeah. So for you, the drama in your draft was the Shane Wright thing. Oh, yeah. Shane's <laughs> all this buzz. He was supposed to go one. Obviously, you're focused on yourself in yeah. that moment. And I'm sure you had a ton of buddies who were getting drafted the same year. Oh, yeah. Was the Shane Wright situation weird for you guys? Were you like dialed? Were you watching it being like, holy shit? And did that affect where you thought you were going to go? Or were you so kind of wrapped up in everything going on with you that you didn't even really notice? I mean, yeah, that was it was definitely surprising for sure. Like the consensus number one pick for, I mean, since we were like 12, 10 yeah. years old, yeah, it was forever. And then hearing like debates of like him or Slavkovsky, like a couple months before the draft, after I think literally Slav, minutes, dude. Yeah, like, Slav, yeah, like Slav had that sick Olympics, and then the world's mm -hmm. like, I I had no idea what to think. I still I thought it was gonna be Shane, and then like Slav a close second. But when I finally heard that, I was. I was sitting two seats behind him, like oh my god! Hey, like I was here, to him. Yeah, and then yeah. he was like right there, and I was like looking around and like <laughs> I was. I heard, Sorry, bro. I every heard, time the camera cuts, Cutter's like, yeah. What up? yeah. <laughs> I heard everyone's like, ooh. and then I saw him right there, and he looks over at his parents. Like I felt so bad because I'm pretty. I'm friends with him because he's in the course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh shit! Like wow, I did not see that coming. So yeah. it was it was kind of crazy for I mean everyone because. When you're that highly touted for that many years and it doesn't go that way, it's kind of crazy. It's wild, dude. Pick, dude. Like they keep more picks. No, no oh. shame. No shame. How about the stare down? Oh, oh God, dude. dude. One of the great moments ever. Like awesome. he was so yeah. pissed. Yeah. And that stare down was so fire. I was like, that wow, was, let's go. We got, like that birthed the rivalry. Yeah. Hand yeah, yeah. Too. He's like, yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. Come on out. It's like, I fuck you, was, Canadians. Yeah. yeah. I thought that was great. That was awesome. So, where, what were, what was going through your head that whole time? You, I mean, everyone knew you were going to be a top 10, top yeah. five pick. Yeah. Did you talk to any of these teams that you were kind of hoping for when yeah. the Flyers came up? Were you like, this is it? This is what's happening? What was going, th going through your mind? I had a couple teams. Like, I, I I knew a range like I was kind of going to go in um, and then we had the combine and then it was like I think I talked to it was either three or four teams like the day before the draft like so it was, was kind of crazy I talked to like four of the teams like I thought I was going to go to the, right the day before the draft kind of hearing from them um, so it was exciting I just sat there and like it was honestly a dream it was like I can't 18 wow, nice. years it was 18 years of like everything you worked for and then it's just gone in a couple hours it was like 
was honestly pissed because the night went by so fast. I bet. Yeah. Like, yeah. Come on. Like, no, but it was it was so sick. Like, hearing your name and then, like, your family, like, looking down, like, every single one of them who helped you get there. Hell yeah. And, like, I thought the coolest part was, like, you get you get asked to, like, pick a song of, like, once you're drafted. Oh, I didn't oh, know that. Oh, fuck I picked, yeah. I picked Congratulations by Post Malone. And I thought it just, like, sounded so perfect. Like, oh, it was damn that's, that's <laughs> you're like oh god great yeah. pick and then, like, as i'm walking down the stairs i was like i was like thinking i was like i'm walking down these stairs way too fast like i gotta slow down so i was like slowly going down the stairs just <laughs> kind of soaking in this yeah oh yeah because it's so cool it's got the welcome nhl like welcome to the nhl sign right before you like shake batman's hand yeah so i was just like damn and then all oh, the the craziest thing is as i'm shaking batman's hand like trying to smile for the picture like I was like shivering, like my mouth was shivering. I don't yeah. know if you could see it on the camera, but I could not keep like a smile. Like I was like, uh, uh, I was, like, <laughs> I was shivering. I don't know what it was. Just like, dude, like you just said, you just got drafted in the NHL. You worked your whole life for this moment, and there it was. It was crazy. And then like I was like sitting with like all the guys, and like I looked up to like like I, there's a photo of like me looking up at the jumbo to see like if you could see my face like <laughs> you're having a panic yeah. attack yeah, yeah. I'll, like, my, oh, my parents noticed it but nobody else noticed it so I was kind of pumped I'm gonna go back and put the tape on that <laughs> you yeah. gotta look at I was like, like shake it here like trying to smile yeah like, you're oh, like falling was, apart you're yeah. like oh god like, damn it oh, I was like damn like 18 years I fucked it up already. yeah like, I, I picked on. the perfect song and then I fuck up the <laughs> smile god I damn it up the smile are you kidding me but when you were doing a, so cool. when you were doing those team interviews did you get yeah. any wild questions from some of the teams and, and who were the four oh, teams yeah, that like, you were meeting with If you, four teams was Ottawa Seattle um, Detroit and I think it was New Jersey maybe? So yeah. not, not even Philly or were they did you also talk to oh, them oh no it was Philly it was five then yeah it was okay, five, yeah, yeah. five teams before so I talked to those teams I mean the combine they ask you crazy questions like i think it was montreal like like i mean the basic question is like what animal are you going to be like and montreal <laughs> like, that's the basic question <laughs> oh every single team do you have a, do you have an answer locked in for that what was it oh everyone everyone says lion and tiger like like you're so planet based i said a shark Okay. There you go. I, I Let's go. Like, That's King good. Seattle, 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 Seattle love that, dude. Yeah, they probably. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. King they of definitely the sea, like, yeah. they never sleep. Like, they're, yeah. they're Did the boys, oh, did the boys prep blood. you for that? Are they like, the teams are going to ask you what animal you are? Like, did you know that going so in? I was, I was pretty fortunate enough. My, my agency, KO Sports, like, they had, like, a, they had, like, a packet, and it had 72 questions of every single question that was asked at the combine. Wow. Oh, shit. So I, I already knew kind of, like, a general Shout out, basis. KL. That's yeah, fucking yeah. great okay, preparation. So what's going on? And then we had a girl, like, who works, like, on in- interviews and stuff. And before, I was, like, super bad with interviews. I would say, like, um, like, yeah. and, like, I was just, like, kind of nervous before, like, answering questions You're doing stuff. fucking great today, but and, uh, yeah. dude, I was going to say that yeah. after this. You're, yeah, you're crushing it right now. So then they, like, I just... Like, I think the biggest thing for me is, like, they took a video of me, and then, like, I would watch it over again. I'd be like, why am I stuttering so much? Like, why is my face doing that? Why I can't even smile? smile, Dude, cuts. I'll tell you this. When we we started doing this podcast, the first few times you listened to it back, I can't tell you how many times I was like, I sound like a fucking idiot, dude. Like, what? You start thinking about everything you say. Yeah. It's crazy. So then, after watching that a few times and a few times, like, you get more used to it, and you get more comfortable with it. And, like, there is, like, throughout your whole year, there's so many interviews, like, whether it's in person, like upwards of like a hundred interviews so you're just so ready it's already programmed and like all the questions are generally like the same yeah. thing so like you kind of already have like once you hear like the question you already have it and you just wait till they're done with the question because you already got a program yeah of what the question or the answer is going to be but yeah i would say one of the craziest questions i heard at the combine was like if there was a hundred dollar bill at the bottom of the toilet bowl or if there was a twenty dollar bill on the top like, what are you, what are you doing? You're going to take the easy, get the $20 bill, <laughs> not get your hands dirty. Or are you going to get your hands dirty and get that hundred dollar bill? What's in the bowl? Did they tell you? No, they, I, I think that's part of his job. Like, you got to yeah, ask. Yeah, yeah, you got to ask. Is there, is there, is there a what? shit like, in the bowl or yeah, what's like, going on? No, I'm getting that hundred dollar bill. Like yeah. I'm, I'm getting down and dirty. I'm getting that thing. Yeah. And then, I mean, just some base, like some questions like, yeah, like I think it was Montreal, like you and you and Anderson going on the corner, who's coming out with that puck? It's like, dude, there's no doubt I don't come out with that puck. Yeah. I'm taking that guy yeah. out. I don't care how old he is, like whatever it is, I'm taking that dude out. I'm getting yep. that puck. So, I mean, there, there are some crazy questions they hear. There's so many. I mean, I was fortunate enough, too, because, like, with the higher picks, like, you only get, like, a certain amount of teams. Like, the, the director, David Keon, or, yeah, um, they only limit you to, like, the top, 
the lottery teams, the 16 teams. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, like, I had buddies doing, like, 32 teams at the draft and, like, six, seven things a day. I was like, dude, that's, that was crazy. But it, it, was, yeah. it was so fun. Like, yeah. three, four straight days of just, like, interviews, hanging out with the guys, asking their buddies, like, how would your interview Yeah, go? yeah, like, what that you, bro? What I would have done the same thing. Yeah. Did you not? Have, I swear I could have asked that question, but yeah. wait, what? No. Uh, it was It was awesome. No, it was fun. And then doing the combine after, like, Everyone's like worried about like the, the bike test and all that stuff. Like, what'd you get on that? What, what'd you get on that? Like, but it was it was a fun time looking back at it. Like, For sure, I, wish I could do it again. Yeah. honestly, but it only happens once. So transition king awesome. again. Yeah, <laughs> combine is so interesting, yeah, right? Yeah. Because you got the NFL. The, I think the two biggest combines you hear about the NFL combine and the NHL combine. You guys yeah. obviously aren't throwing up crazy plates on like the bench press like some yeah. of these NFL yeah, guys no are. Way. I always love the stories like you see like I don't mean to sue a ranting or anything but like the guy goes to the combine and can't do a single pull up. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, how'd you do at the combine? And then were there any funny stories where guys were just struggling to do something or any workouts where someone completely bottled what was going on there? Um overall I I did pretty good. I think I finished like 6th overall with it and like the hardest one like the Wingate test like the 30 out sprint yeah, yeah. I came first. So I was oh, like let's, let's go. go. That's I was, a huge I, win. Yeah, I was super pumped about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But I would say the funniest story is like after, like, because that's the last one. You go 30 seconds all out. They're screaming in your ear. You're, you're giving it everything you got. And then you get off and like, you're like, as you're about to get off the bike, there's like two people standing right next to you and they're like, ready for you ready, to fall over. Yeah, ready yeah. for you like the whole I'm like, no, 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 I'm good. Like, like what? I'll I do that off, again, dude. I'm like shaking. No, no, no. Like, yeah. I, I thought it was going to be light work, but the second you get off the bike, you're like, what just happened? And like, you almost collapse. You almost fall. And they're like holding me up and like walking me to the back room. <laughs> and like, they, it, it's like the, like the big black curtains and like a square shaped or whatever. So I was with a couple of my buddies from the program. Like we were in the same group. So like we were in the back room after and I, I, I forget who it was, but Oh no, it was, it was Seamus Casey. Yeah. Like one of my close friends. Yeah. Um, I'm sitting there like, like we got like a head rush, like you're, you're gas, you're tired. And I just look over at this guy. He's got trash can, there's <laughs> throw up everywhere. He's uh, just, everywhere. just throwing up everywhere. I was like, dude, like hold it in. Like, come on, <laughs> come man. on. Dude, everyone's watching. And, yeah. And like this lady, like who was helping us all out, she's like sitting, like patting his back and making sure he's all good. I'm like, dude, it's only 30 seconds. Come on. It's not that bad. <laughs> you're like, like Seamus, you're I, embarrassing I, us, yeah. dude. Get it together. Yeah, I was like, I know I don't feel great right now, but like, dude, come on, like figure it out. Yeah. Like, but that was, that was probably the funniest moment. That's um, such a fucking riot. I yeah. But I mean, I wouldn't say any mess ups, I would say. Um, but I mean, it was, it was fun. It, it didn't go by that quick. Yeah. Um, but it's obviously a little nerve wracking when you're doing all these things and like every NHL team and their scouts are just sitting right there watching you. And you're and giving like it you everything you got. You're one shot, right? You're yeah. Like, you know, this is it. Dude. You're no, giving you everything yep. you got. You're not yep. messing up. So, I mean, hearing that ranting story, I couldn't imagine only doing one pull up. Like, yeah. no way. Oh, God. Yeah. Dude, so, yeah. I, I mean, obviously we know that you're psyched you got drafted by the Flyers. You've been super vocal about that. Yeah. You've kind of got an interesting story here where you're born in Sweden. Yeah. You then go to Arizona. You leave Arizona at like 10, right? Yeah, and you 10. go up and you're on the, the Devo program and all that stuff. Yeah. I'm curious where your fandom lies as an NHL fan when you were growing up. And yeah. then, again, like I said, obviously you're all in on the Flyers now, but was there a team kind of in your mind that you're like, fuck, I'd love to get drafted by this team? So originally I was like an Arizona Coyotes fan. Love it. At the same time, I was a Pittsburgh fan too. Oh, okay. And Did that have anything to do with Crosby, or was yeah, it just yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, my be- yeah. yeah, my my right, favorite player. Down, yeah. <laughs> I just my, love Sid. So my much. favorite, my favorite player growing up was Crosby. I'm sure, like for a lot of like many of reasons. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think the one cool thing that I loved about him was like I saw a video of like him growing up and he was shooting pucks in the dryer. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I would, I would do the same thing, like shoot pucks in the dryer, try to be like Sid the kid, like. So your I mom, mean, your yeah. mom hates Sid because oh, she, 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 yeah, there's a couple broken dryers. Yeah, there's a. Your mom needs to write Crosby a letter. It's like yeah. you owe me like four like, dryers. Come man. on, man! Like, yeah. why? Are you, what, are you, what are you doing? Like, why are you doing that? Uh, but no, that that was good. And like after the draft, like I was wearing all Philly stuff, and one of the one of the questions they asked me was like, "Who was your favorite team growing up?" And I was like. Pittsburgh Penguins. Yeah. Like, that was my team. They're like, are you fucking and Flyers fans? Are like, Jesus Christ! I got absolutely ripped for that in the comments after. I'm like looking at half. I'm like, oh god, like that's strike one for me. Like, yeah, yeah. Anymore, I'm yeah. done. Yeah, like, I'm out of there. Yeah, yeah. But, no, but it, it was fun. Like I've always been like a, like a Pittsburgh fan, and obviously growing up in Arizona, like going to those games, it's so fun. Like Coyotes. Shane Dawn was another one of my. Yeah, players. hell yeah, dude. The Yotes awesome. are the shit. Yeah, I love awesome. the Yotes. Um, so those two teams, I would say, growing up, that's for awesome. Now, yeah. yeah, dude. I've always wanted to ask a prospect this who's you know the property of the flyer is going to yeah. be a flyer soon 
when you are watching them this year, now, you know, you're, you're focused on your season, so I don't know how many NHL games you get to watch and shit, yeah. but when you're watching the Flyers this year, are you like, oh man, I wish they were sick and I can leave, like we were talking before we started with Luke, Luke Hughes finishes the year and is literally flying to New Jersey and playing yeah. in the playoffs. So are you like, God, I wish the Flyers were sick right now so I could be, whenever you choose to leave, you can go right into a playoff race? Yeah. Or is it kind of dope if they're bad, which means they're adding another huge prospect to play with you and yeah. maybe you're getting better ice time right away? What, like, does that, does that cross your mind or you I mean, don't care? I, I don't really care, honestly. Like, yeah. Both ways would be sick. Yeah. Like, like if they suck, like you go in, you're, you're, like, you're the man or whatever it may be, like that would be cool. But also at the same time, like you make playoffs. Yeah. Like, you're going to stay like a finals. Like, right away. First game. Yeah. Be, yeah. Like, so true. So, I mean, kind of probably leaning towards the other one, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, but I'm look, I'm just looking forward to it. It should be a fun time pretty soon here. So. Fuck yeah, dude. It's going to be amazing. Well, I think we should ask about torts now too now that he's talking about the flyers yeah it's true get into it if you've got any stories that you want because we were asking him before we started just being like dude is it crazy as towards intimidating yeah. have you got to meet him if you've got any stories you can tell on air just about what it was like to meet him and all that yeah. shit lay it all on right us. so the first the first story i have of him was this past summer at development camp uh we had it was it was at their practice facility and we were in the locker room he was giving everyone a speech we're all in like at the stalls like the flyers guys and all that and everything's done he walks out and everyone's walking out to like the next thing. We had like a pretty busy schedule that week. Um, and everyone's just walking right by him. He's talking to a, like a couple other staff members or whatever it may be. Everyone's just walk, blowing him off, walking right by. And, you know, I, I, I moved the staff member guy out of the way. And like, I was like, hey, Cutter Goche, it's really nice to meet you. I'm looking forward to playing for you soon. He's like, fuck yeah. I love that <laughs> shit. It's great to meet you too. And I was sitting there like. Uh, oh, like, whoa. It's it's nice to meet you too. Your I'm, face breaking your hand. I'm you know, like, yeah. I'm, I'm glad you're that pumped to yeah. meet me. Like, uh, so that's that's definitely the biggest incredible. Intro. I was like, yeah, yeah. First time I meeting this dude, he's oh, like yeah. stoked. Like, yeah. I was like, all right, just sweet, big energy go. right yeah. out the yeah. gate, and you're like, all right, torts, like, fucking like, a. All right, sweet, let's do it, let's go. So, <laughs> do you keep uh, do you chat with any of the dudes on the team right now, or like, what's what's your um, communication with them? I, I keep in touch with Kevin Hayes a lot. BC boys on that, yeah, a lot of BC guys. So I was pretty fortunate enough to be pretty close to Kevin this past year, shooting. Uh, shooting him a couple calls at the beginning of the year he took me out golfing too um which is super classy of him really nice guy so you beat i would him? say it's gonna say did you win oh, no they played 18 i only played nine it was it was like 9 a.m the next morning i almost missed the tea time <laughs> it was <laughs> it was an early morning the next day yeah uh but no it was it was fun it was good um he, he's been super nice since day one since i met him he texted me right after the draft yeah i love he's, that he's been a beauty since so it, it was great to have him. I love that. We clowned around with him at uh, at All Stars. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. He's, 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 he's as good as it gets. Yeah, he's, dude. A good time. he's the man. Uh, dude, you mentioned the World Juniors earlier that you were yeah, at earlier yeah. this season. Obviously, you know we talked to a bunch of guys who have unreal experiences with yeah. that. Sounds like you had an absolute blast. Oh yeah. You guys finished third, get bronze. I mean, amazing the medal. Huge thing though is winning that game against Sweden, the consolation game, which you yeah. fucking dominated in. By the <laughs> yeah. way, two goals, one to put us up four three, one yeah. to put us up seven six. Unreal performance. Being born in Sweden, yeah. was there any bit of you that was like, I really want to beat Sweden, or was that not even or on were your you mind? Trying to throw the game. Oh, I mean, being born in Sweden or not, the recent year losing to Sweden in the yeah. gold medal games yeah. in exactly. the 18 Worlds, I was so pissed off. I mean, the kind of like the mojo we had in the locker room before, like the bronze game, was kind of like, like, like who gives a shit? Like this isn't the gold medal. But then we had a talk like with the coach and like Luke, you know, jumped in and he's like, hey, listen, like I don't care this gold medal not like we're going out here to play with our hearts out like we got to wake up and figure it out hell yeah and that just changed things around then we were ready to go right from the get-go so um winning that game was awesome like coming i couldn't imagine not coming home with anything like that would suck like i'd rather come home with a bronze medal yeah. game dude and instead I, of coming home with absolutely nothing yes i was almost thinking you're in that situation and it's if you're in the gold medal game you're yeah. like listen obviously we want gold yeah. but at the end of the day you're coming home with gold or silver yeah that consolation game is like we're either coming home with bronze or fucking empty handed, and yeah. that is like there's almost as much uh, pressure oh, in that situation. Sure. Yeah, for sure. I've I have two silver medals and one bronze medal, and I would say it feels better winning the bronze medal than losing the silver medal. You, you win that last game, you win it. Yeah, yeah. you don't lose. It's like, it's like oh, here's your consolation prize. Here's silver. Like you're second. You're like you're the first loser. Like get yeah, out of yeah. here. I don't yeah. want the silver medal. It's true. But you got to win the bronze medal game. So that was super fun. That was such a great experience with a couple older guys. Uh, but we had a great time over there. Yeah. It was awesome. That's what kind fucking of stuff huge. Do you guys get up to when you're not playing. <laughs> a lot of <laughs> yeah, like that's that feels really like immediate know. stories. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a few stories. Uh, a lot of a lot of cards. Okay, a lot of cards. A lot of cards. <laughs> yeah. um, What's the game of choice? Um, I think we were playing. Whoop. 
there's like this poker game we're playing um, but it's like who has a bet like almost Texas Hold'em but like a okay. Brazilian Brazilian Texas Hold'em Some, Brazilian Hold'em yeah <laughs> yeah it was right. so one of the guy, I think it was one of the guys brought it up to you us and we just couldn't stop we couldn't start playing it it was it was awesome Come on it was in. super fun gonna refill oh, you oh appreciate that thank you thank you um, yeah um, but yeah, Brazilian poker, I think it was called, but we were, we were addicted to that. Yeah. That was, that was a game of choice. Like I, it was, my room was like the, the, like the game room, the poker room. And we had like 10, 15 guys in there every day for like five straight hours, just busting it out, yeah. just playing cards. It, it was awesome. Cause you're in the hotel for like three weeks before the tier. Oh like, yeah. It's wild. Dude. Yeah. I think we bounced from like three or four different hotels, like over the span of a month. So we're. We were stuck in the hotel. Like, there was nothing to do. So, like, just playing cards, hanging out with the guys was the best team bonding. Like, you could Perfect. Get. So, it, it was pretty fun. It was awesome. Did anyone That's get huge. cleaned out? Oh, there's, there's a couple guys who got <laughs> Yeah, they had a tough three <laughs> weeks, boys. <laughs> oh, I love that. No, we're all good sports about it, though. That's it amazing. Time. Yeah. Fucking uh, huge. Okay. Tell me a little bit about, and I think there's a chance you might have missed this, but I'm just curious. I don't know you moved from Scottsdale at like 10, right? Yeah, so, you yeah. weren't there that long. But what was the hockey scene like there? Obviously, when you moved to Michigan, you did that to pursue the hockey dream because yeah. there it's not it's a hockey town yeah but did the matthews effect exist at all in scottsdale was it getting hot there like what what was what was that like i had no idea who austin matthews okay, was yeah. when i was in arizona yeah, like yeah. i had no idea until i moved to michigan like the year after then i figured out who he was right. and then i was like oh like i should look up to this guy like yeah yeah he's got the you know same thing as like me going totally. on like the program asu or uh, arizona and all that stuff um but i would say the biggest thing was like <laughs> Like there's nothing going on in Arizona with yeah. hockey. Like when yeah. I was down there, for sure, you're driving like 40 minutes to play like some team. You pump like 12 nothing, 20 nothing. Like there is nothing much going on. So it was it was honestly more my dad's decision to like move and leave because we got a call from I think it was Honeybake at the time. Yeah, and they were number one in the country and like they had all these studs. Like when we were youth hockey, like little 10 year old kids. And my dad was like, "Hey, like you want to move out to Michigan?" I was like, "Let's go!" Like, like, more hockey, let's yeah, back sounds it up good. And go more hockey, like better Fucking competition. Like, let's do it. So I actually remember my dad and I. It was just me and my dad. We drove from Arizona to Michigan. It took us like three days to get out there, and we drove right to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Like I think it was PPG. Yeah, PPG Paints Arena for my first tournament with the Honey Bake guys. Yeah. Jumping right into an NHL arena with Honey Bake, pumped these teams like 12 nothing. I was like, oh, like this is sick. Yeah. Why did I do this yeah, years this before? Is like, what yeah. was I doing out in Arizona? Like, wasting my time. Like, yeah. No, but it, it was so sick. Like, those five years of Honey Bake, it was, it was awesome. Like, you're the man. Like, you're, you're the team to beat. Like, it was, it was so fun. Like, you're yeah. getting everybody's best game. Whereas in Arizona, like half these kids are like playing the flute, like wow, well, yeah, yeah, they're not playing hockey. <laughs> God, it's so crazy. fucking real. Yeah, so it, it was awesome. It, it was a good time, and okay. it's pretty sweet that you're, you know, you're talked about in the same conversations as Austin now of guys who have kind of pioneered hockey yeah. from being from Arizona, growing yeah. up in Arizona, yeah. and it's cool seeing the game growing there. It's pretty wild. Yeah, it's awesome. Like you got Maddie Nyes now, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely, too, yeah. And Donor, Josh Stone too. So it's cool to see all the names that it's growing, and like obviously, you know, it's it's my favorite sport. Yeah, <laughs> for yeah. many others. Yeah. yeah. Um. So it's pretty cool to see you know how it's kind of growing everywhere and especially arizona where i'm from so fuck yeah. Awesome. yeah i love it um all right dude we're gonna close you out with a game that we play with every guest that comes on right. it's called pass shoot score pass shoot score okay. it's basically just a ranking system we're gonna give you three things okay pass is the one that you can kind of live without because we love passing the puck around but it's not the best thing in the world okay shoot getting pucks on net is huge so that's yeah. number two yeah. and then score obviously that's our favorite thing so that's your number one okay so you're just gonna rank these three things pass shoot score pass shoot score your first one and and you might have to reverse order this one yeah yeah this on one how you interpret it this yeah. one might be a reverse because these okay. are things that hopefully you hate <clears throat> yeah. okay so you're gonna go we'll say pass is the one you hate the least okay scores or we'll do it pass you hate the most hate the most okay and then go in reverse score, order you so hate the score least. i like it yeah, yeah. like somewhat like it. Yeah, okay. yeah 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 all right so this is a bean pot edition pass shoot score yeah yeah bu <laughs> northeastern and harvard oh. well bu is obviously the what, what's the worst? Pass. That's pass. pass. Yeah, yeah. yeah use pass. Um, I would say Harv. No, Northeastern shoot. Okay. And Harvard score. Harvard, you can live okay. with. Yeah. Even after they beat you this year. No, I messed that up. Yeah. <laughs> North- now that I, think I wanted that. to bring up. Yeah. You lost to Harvard this year. Yeah, though. I would say. Yeah, BU just automatically. Oh, yeah, fuck BU. Yeah. yeah, and then and then yeah, Harvard second or that's that's shoot right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Harvard shoe because they beat us. You know, yeah, like, yeah. You can't left, you can't, can't have dude, any love for them, dude. Show. Fuck that. And yeah. then Northeastern, like we had some good battles with those guys. Yeah. We'll we'll throw them at number one. So we'll throw them at score. Okay, yeah. good. I'm glad that the BU is the hard. And, and fuck off. I'm glad it was better. no hesitation. I knew it was going to oh, yeah. pass, but I'm Shit. glad you just knee jerk. Oh, yeah. There, there was the legit stank in his yep. eye there too. It was like, yeah, no, no, fuck this. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I <laughs> love that. Time. Pass shoot score. This is a day with the boys. Okay. Oh, okay. Going fishing with the boys, catching monsters. Yeah, yeah. Golfing day with the boys. Yeah. Or day on the lakes in Michigan with the boys. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Um. Golfing with the boys has got to be score. Yeah. Like, that's the best. Yeah, like, the best. Like, when you it's got some best. nice weather, you got some of the guys going out. Like, oh, it's are you, unreal. Are you guys, like, you running 36 holes a day? Or you, is that too much? If I could, I would. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if my body could take that <laughs> yeah, after, like, working out. Yeah. <laughs> Even at 19 already, I'm like, oh, jeez, yeah. my back. Oh, that's but, brutal, no. dude. Um, I would say score is definitely, definitely golf with the yeah. boys. I would say that's a tough one. Like, with the boys... Like if we're wake surfing, it's going. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a shoot. two. That's yeah. two. Yeah, that's, right. that's two for sure. And then you know, fishing with the boys is three. Yeah, like I love all of them, but we it's have incredible. to go. Yeah, yeah. Fishing does have that. I mean, fishing's on amazing, but if you get goosed fishing, it's a brutal day. It changes your day. It's yeah, sucks. like if you don't yeah, get you're, you're anything, you're all mad and pissed off. You're yeah. like, damn, like you're know, like I feel like I, I used the same move last week and I caught a yeah. six pounder. Like, yeah, what the, yeah. What the hell? It such a fucking real feeling. What am I doing wrong? But you're doing some sick fishing though. Like you go for the big stuff. You know, you're not out there with the bobber catching trout, dude. Like yeah. You take, you're taking oh, yeah. the trophy fish home. Yeah, I love taking that. that trophy fish. Yeah. yeah, huge. How's uh, how's the golf game right now? Golf game is is good. We got a good match tomorrow. Me and uh, me and Shrags versus a couple of our seniors tomorrow morning oh, at nine thirty. Ooh, wow. Okay, so, got, so you got to take it easy tonight. Yeah. yeah, Jesus. Yeah, we're Christ. taking it easy tonight. We're I getting love ready that. for tomorrow. Nine thirty tea time. So it's an early what wake do you, up. Yeah. Do you need the most work on driver, or is it? Or is it? No, definitely not the driver. That thing goes far. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Far. So it's a short oh, game issue. Shit. Oh, yeah, short game. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. I'm definitely a drive for show, putt for dough yeah. type of guy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got to work on the short game a little bit. Okay. So. All right, I love it. I love yeah. that too. Yeah. All right, your next one, pass shoot score. We're doing foods. Okay. Pass shoot score, New England clam chowder, Okay. Philly cheesesteak, or door dashing chipotle. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, clam chowder is like unreal. New yeah. England clam yeah. chowder out here. Oh, that pumps me up, dude, that, that is, he comes here and he likes the clam that's chowder. Score. Yeah. That's score. That's score for yeah, sure. Yeah, let's go. Chipper, DoorDash Chipper, that's yeah. easy shoot. Yeah. And then pass. What, what was the pass one? Philly that was Philly Cheese Steak. Now you're in oh, trouble with that. We'll, we'll see. Hold on. This is yeah. my second strike. Yeah, I was going to say, we can't. We might <laughs> this, We might have to cut this. We can't get a second strike for this oh, guy oh with the God. Philly fans. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's the last one. That's Philly last. We'll, we'll, it, we'll check in with him in a couple of years. Yeah. Maybe it'll go up the up the ranks. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. yeah. If you think yeah. I'm calling Chipotle anything but Chipper from now on, you're oh, fucking no, high, by the way. Well, dude, I got a follow-up for you because I know you're a big steak guy. I know yeah. you're a big sushi guy. Oh, yeah. I was honestly like reading about some of the stuff you have to say about dining hall. I was shocked you went back to college, dude. Dining hall is <laughs> yeah, fucking you put brutal. Yourself through that for another year, but yeah, the dining hall food was a little surprising this year. They had a couple good nights, but yeah, definitely, definitely not the best. Yeah, not, I mean that's what we have Chipper for. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. why we have Chipper comes through Chipper. the clutch all the time. It is fucking great. So clutch. It's only like a mile away too. It's, it's like crucial. It's a little too far for a walk. Yeah, especially in the winter months. Are you yeah. me? Yeah, yeah especially no, for yeah. the winters. That's why you get DoorDash up. You get a nice yeah. Chipper bowl. Anyone that's looking for a birthday gift for yeah. cuts, DoorDash gift cards. <laughs> there you go. Time, yeah, I think huge. like the other night, like I walk in, I'm looking at the menu. I think I saw Cajun catfish. Like, did you try it? I looked at it. I looked at the boys. Like, all right, let's go. Let's get. The yeah, hell you out have of here. to, dude. I love that Who's attitude. Catfish, yeah. like, dude. What? No what's uh, what's the Chipotle yeah. order? Chipotle order. Keep it simple. Uh, white rice, yep. double chicken, yep. Yep. extra protein, um, lettuce, sour cream, corn. Please tell me that you're saying too. that's clean. Vinaigrette Wait, no guac. Too. No guac. Guac's guac extra. Guac is extra. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With the DoorDash, too. We'll wait for that signing bonus to hit yeah. before he gets the guac. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll throw guac on every once in a while. Yeah. If, we're feel, if we're feeling good, we'll yeah, throw yeah, guac yeah. on. Maybe you want a couple card part. games, you'll throw yeah, some guac exactly, on there. Exactly. There you go. If you're feeling good, you're going to throw some guac Please on. Please tell yeah. me that you're a professional and you say single chicken first. So she establishes what a scoop Well, if you're DoorDash and you, you can't do that oh, yeah, trick. Fuck, good DoorDash, it's a little tough. But when you're yeah. in line, you say, hey, can I get some chicken? Once she does that full scoop of yeah. chicken. Actually, a double I'll chicken. Steak. I'll actually yeah. do steak, too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's like the half and half price, yep. but you're getting like. Yeah, and then you yeah. got them. Yeah. We got okay. That's it's huge. in the bag. Pass cool. shoot score. All right. Pre-game songs. Okay. Human by Rag and Bone. 
Oh, we got. I'm a got, boss. You, you guys Ross. did your research, eh? And Love Sosa uh, by Chief Keith. Love Sosa's score. That's, okay. That's <laughs> no that's, again. Dude, that's the, the conviction this kid one. has with his answers that, is huge. Yeah, Hezzy that's again. number one. Um, I mean, it's kind of a toss up with the other two. I would say I'm a boss to shoot. Okay. So class, like that, that gets you going, and then Human. That's the gets last the pass. one. That's, Would no. USA by Baby Keem have snuck past Human, or is that fourth? No, that's number one. Oh, that's like, one. Yeah, that's number one. That, that that's the first one I listened to. Right, you and do then, that exact yeah, order. And then right? it's Home. It's then it's Human, and then it's I'm a Boss, and then we switch it over to Love Sosa. But yeah, those two. Like, I do a thing with like US uh, trademark. Yeah. Um, is like it. It starts off very slow. And like I turn it all the way down, like just hear the beat, and then once it slams, I turn it Crank. all the way up. Yeah, and then I'm just yeah. in the zone. Like you're not messing with me anymore. I love yeah. that. And then I throw. I'm a boss and love Sosa. Yep. Like I'm untouchable now. Like Dude, get out of here. Let's go. How did we establish the order? The like how did this? How did this happen? I have the first no time? idea. I think like it started. I, it started at the program for sure. Yeah. Just like listening to all these songs that I just stuck to these for. I think I had a good game that game, so I played. Yeah, again. That, that's like, that's that. Then you're like, yep. Game again, another good game. Like, all right, I'm sticking to this. I can't switch it up now. Yep. So yeah, those are the four that I, I stick to. So I can't wait till the Flyers give you the locker room DJ sticks, and everyone's like, dude, can we mix this up? <laughs> yeah. And you're like, no, no. sorry. Guts is like, uh, no, no, we can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's fucking beautiful. Incredible. <laughs> um, all right, well, dude, we've taken up an hour of your time. This yeah. has been a fucking blast. <laughs> uh, before we let you go, is there yeah. anything you want to plug? Anything you want to say? Shout out to anyone. Uh, plug the boys for the Uber ride over here. I appreciate Let's that. Go. That's really that nice. Is, yeah, huge that from the huge. fellas. That is huge. And then, the yeah, we'll tell everyone to dial into the BC Eagles next season. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a fun year. Gonna it's going to be a fun year, year dude. Year, yeah. year. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna, I might put a nice futures bet yeah. on this after this conversation. Oh, yeah. That's fucking oh, huge. Yeah, come on. Uh, All right. Well, awesome. dude, thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, dude, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. That was our interview with Cutter Goche of the BC Eagles. What a fucking beauty. Headed back to college next season. He's going to crush it. And then go right to the show and play for the Flyers. Be a stud, Philly. You are you got a good one on your hands. Oh my a god! Voiced teenager. What an insanely impressive, impressive kid. That was fucking unbelievable. Fantastic. Major thank you to Cutter for sitting down with us, and a major thank you to you for watching. See you guys tomorrow for more playoff action.